Hi everyone, it's Stu here from 3B and today I'm going to be showing you the settings that I'm using for the current update which is 1241.5. It says 1241 but there was a recent one that says 1241.5. If you update that and use the settings that I'm going about going to show you then uh, you will get a pretty natural looking picture. So I've lived with it for about a week um, and uh, I've sort of settled for now on these settings. So backlight set at 20, brightness at 47, contrast at 84, sharpness at 16, color at 29. Um, previously I'd have the color a little bit higher but seems that um, the update has changed some of the color settings. Uh, pushing more towards the reds and the greens in the tint. So 48, G48, R52, apply to all sources. We have digital clean view off, auto motion plus off, smart LED. Um, I have that set to high. Um, I prefer that sort of to, to work harder on the zones, on the LED zones and uh, HDMI, UHD color, again, to all sources. Uh, dynamic contrast, um, set that to medium, although I'm sort of toying with the idea whether to either have it on low um, or even off, but um, you may want to play with that a little bit. Color tone is warm too, which is set, which is the closest to the sort of cinema standard in terms of color tone settings. There is, but uh, it, some people find that a bit too yellow, so you may want to change that, but you may then have to change some of the other settings. But warm two is the closest to what the uh, sort of the cinema standard settings are. Um, color space set to auto, and white balance and gamma are already set through the auto. So those are the settings that I've been working with for about a week um, since I uh, have had this update. Oddly, I can't do a comparison between the old one and the new one because my TV decided to update itself even though it's set to off, uh, to auto updates to off. So I don't know why it's updating itself even though it's I've turned that function off. Uh, hopefully next time I can do a comparative review between the old update or the old system software and the new one so we can see the differences if, uh, if that's possible. So work with these settings, let me know what you think and um, if there are any changes that I'm likely to make it may be along the lines of the smart LED and the, the dynamic contrast. Um, you may want to play with those a little bit but overall I'm pretty happy it's kind of a natural looking image. Um, I have a feeling it might be a little bit too too washed out maybe, um, although this isn't a sort of good example, but um, yeah for now I'm pretty happy with with what it's pulling out from there. So let me know your thoughts, let me know your settings and um, let's share our thoughts on, on the settings that you're using and perhaps we can come up with a perfect setting overall. So there we are. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing. That would be greatly appreciated. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and uh, don't forget to click the bell to be alerted that when I've done updates such as these and uh, I've been fiddling a bit more with the settings that you will get alerted when I've done those videos. Thanks once again, and um, I'll catch you very soon. Take care.